Hi, this is Rashika Pandey. As we have seen in my previous video that what is C++ and when it was created. Today, in this video, we will see the terms used with the programming language, advantages of learning C++ and where C++ is used in this real world. Now, starting with the first topic, terms used with the programming language. Now, the first term is general purpose programming language. C++ is a general purpose programming language. We can use this programming language to create general purpose application or software. Easy to understand? Is it, it is general purpose programming language. It is easy to understand. Now, what is middle level language? Now, before starting with this, we should know how many lang level languages are there. There are three level of languages. First is lower level language. Second is middle level language. Third is higher level language. Now what is lower level language? Lower level languages are those languages which are directly close to the computer system. Which means the computer system can directly understand these codes. For an example, machine level language and assembly level language. Now, before discussing what is a middle level language, we should first see what is a higher level language. Now, student, understand higher level languages are those languages which are similar to human languages. Means, the codes are written in our normal language, in our normal English language where even a third person who is not able to understand programming language, that person can also read the code very easily because the codes are written in your normal human language. Now, talking about what is middle level language. Middle level language shares the feature of both lower level language and higher level language. Means it has, it has the features of both the languages. For an example, C++. So, C++ is a middle level language. Children, C student, if a programming language belongs to any level language, that does not mean it is a good or a bad language. Okay, they have their own features and C++ is a middle level language. Now the third point is compiled language. Now understand children, what is a compiled language? Okay, C, we write code using a C++. Okay, and we give this instruction to the computer. But as we all know, computer is a machine. It understands the instructions in the form of zeros and ones. So this C++ code is written, is converted into zeros and one through a compiler. There is a compiler in between which turns the code into the form of zeros and ones and transfer it to the computer system. This whole process is known as compilation. Again I repeat, now the codes which are written in the form of C++ are converted into the form of zeros and ones and this whole process is known as compilation. Now, this was a third point. C++ is a compiled language. Now, what is a fourth point? Fourth point is C++ is an object-oriented programming language. C++ is an object-oriented programming language. Why? Because it uses the concept and approach of object-oriented programming languages. Now, we define it now. Since we have discussed all the four terms, now we will uh, create a definition for C++. Here I have created a very easy definition. C. C++ is a general purpose, middle level, compiled, object oriented programming language. Now, if anyone asks. Now, if anyone asks you what is C++, you will say C++ is a general purpose, middle level, compiled, object oriented programming language. Understood? Now we will see what are the advantages of C++. C++ is an efficient language, reliable and fast and better understanding. Like we can understand C++ very easily. It is an efficient language, easy language to understand. It is reliable and fast. Other languages with object-oriented programming language will be better to understand if we understand C++ clearly. 
Another thing is that C++ is the best option to learn the object oriented programming approach. Children, when you will grow and when you will go to the higher classes, you, there will be some other languages for example Java, C sharp and many more. There, if you know the concept of C++, you will be easily able to get all the concepts of Java and other languages. Now we will now the last uh, topic we will see where C++ is used. C++ is used in games where some of the games are built using C++ in the background. C++ is also used in graphical user interface applications where using ca user can interact using buttons and keys. C++ is used in image editing software for an example Photoshop and image ready. C++ is used in building some of the web browser for example for an example Mozilla Firefox. C++ is also used in building the compilers. It is also used in building the operating system for an example Windows. Windows uses some of the codes in the background which are from the C++. And C++ is also used in the fields of medical and engineering. And this is the best point that C++ is used in creating and writing other languages like Java. Yes, your language Java is also created by using C++ in the background. So children, today we have discussed three topics in major which were the terms used with the programming languages, advantages of learning C++ and where C++ is used in this real world. I hope that you all have understood and it, it was very easy and please go through the video again and try to understand it again. Thank you.